Timer is on. Let's go. Last time we removed the correct answers from the quiz API because the concept of correct answers has been moved to the client. So we don't have correct answers and we don't have scoring. Exactly. Should probably rename this test then. Yes, there's no scoring anymore. So you can say something like start quiz, answers all questions. Completes with answers. Because that's what it does here. Yes. It accumulates questions and answers in the tuples. Yeah, basically this is an integration test, right? Yes. Clarified uh, test name. Yeah. Okay, so we need to add more tests. Let me copy this here. So if we answer questions, but we change our mind. Right. Answer all questions twice, completes with new answers. So I would like to be able to... Right. Change the answer. Yes. It should now be... Well, I should still have completed the first time, but it should have completed again with A1 and A2. Right. So it should have completed twice. Yeah. So we have the two questions, the delegate. Well, it's implicit that each answer completion refers to a question. Right. So there is a missing index here. It should be something like, I want to reply the first question with A1 and the second question with A2. Right. But our delegate at the moment holds the latest. Yeah, yeah, it just captures this uh, closure there. So maybe we should comment this out and fix the first test. Right, okay. So you want like some sort of accumulation of completions. Yeah, because at the moment we just store the latest one, which means we cannot go back in time and, and do something else. Yes. There is a missing concept in this delegate spy. Yeah. How many times actually we capture this answer. Yeah, you just capture the answer, basically. Yes, the latest one. I see this in a lot of code bases out there, and this might be okay. But if you care about order and about how many times this thing was invoked, you should probably capture it in some kind of collection. Right. Where you can check the count and can even interact with different received messages. Yeah, have some sort of history of what happened there. Yes. So what we want is this to be now 0 and 1. Yes. Let's make this into an array. Right. That's better. Now we append all the received completions. And maybe we can call it answers completion or answer completions, something to denote the multiple closures there. Yes. What is this then? So it's the answer completions, I would say. Run the test again. OK, let's commit. But I don't want to commit the commented out code, so we can just select don't commit on Xcode, and that's it. It commits yeah. the other changes. So this is an intermediary step that facilitates what we want to do in the next test. Exactly. So we capture answer completions in an ordered form. Right. And now we can go back to our test. So the first quiz will complete with Q1 a1, Q2, A2. Yes, as said here. Right. But then we go there and we change the answers. Mm -hmm. And we expect to receive Q1, A1, 1. And still the same Q2, but A2, 2, the new answers. Right. So let me run this test. Should pass. Whoops. OK, that's a bug. Ah, I see. So what happened before was that we had a dictionary and we got this behavior for free because we didn't care about duplicate questions. So in the dictionary, we were using the question as a key. Right. Which means if you reply again to the same question, you would just replace the value in the dictionary. Yeah. So let's have a look at the flow that collects the questions we are appending. Yeah, exactly. We need to replace. Can we do an insert at index? It still fails. Yeah. Replace or insert. That's what we need. So we need to replace if already exists or insert if it's not there. Yes, exactly. Uh, how can we do that? Should we create our own extension here? Yeah, let's try. Let's try to do that. And we need something like replace or insert. Yeah. At index. Right. And we need a new element. So we're going to pass an element. And it's going to mutate the array. Yes. Okay, so it's a mutating function. That's the API we want. 
Yes, exactly. So what do we need to do here? We need to check if the index is included in the account. So if it's within bounds? Within bounds, yes. If it is, we delete it. Right. So if index is less than count, we delete the element. Yes. It's a replace, basically. We remove and then we insert. Otherwise, we just insert it. And here we just insert element at index. Correct? Yeah. It works. Okay. Great news. Okay, so the test is now passing. Yes. Let me commit this. Quiz now allows clients to answer the same question more than yeah, once. more than once. Okay. Which means if you don't want this behavior to happen, it's up to the client not to allow its users to do so. Yeah. But the yeah. framework should not limit them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense in this integration test, but I would also want this behavior to be tested in the flow test. Yeah. So let's have a look at the flow test. Do we have tests for the completed quizzes? Yes. Right, so this here. is it here, yeah. And we say start and answer first and second question with two questions and it completes the quiz. So it's basically exactly the same test. Okay, so we need something like if we reply this twice, Complete yes. squeeze twice. twice. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The problem is that again we don't have the index here. Yeah. Well, we can just extend the spy. So maybe we should start as we did before. Let's convert all the previous tests. So this would be answer completion of zero, and this should be answer completion of zero and one. Yeah. Now we can change this to be an array. It starts empty. And now it's answer completion dot append right so that should do it okay we have a build error ah yeah. this is used somewhere else okay great it passes now let's rename this property as well yeah answer completions yes so now we can commit i just would like to move this close to the questions asked okay that's fair. Commit. Mm -hmm. Zero one, zero, 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 one. Great. But I don't want to commit. Yeah. I commented out code. Great. So capture, answer completions in an ordered form. Yeah. Now let's put the test we want. Yes. It's very similar to the other one. Yes, completions. And this should be two now when we invoke this twice. Okay, let's finish this test. And that's completed quizzes one. Exactly. Let's see if this passes. Great. Yeah. Perfect. Let's commit. So guarantee the flow allows clients to answer same question more than once okay i think we are done with tests for this behavior yeah for this behavior yes which makes me think are we duplicating tests here i mean we are so if we change something in the flow then this change will reflect most probably in both these test cases that can be problematic at the same time though the flow is a lower level component than the quiz there well, the flow is an internal type, but the quiz is a public API. That's how we start a quiz. That's how the clients communicate with this framework. Right. Right. We want to test as a user here. We're not even importing this framework as testable. Yeah. We're just using the public APIs. So those are the expectations of a user. Yeah. Which is very different than the amount of tests we have for the flow. Perfect. Let's continue in the next episode. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.